Hey. I'm gonna make a wild guess here. Uh, you've only ever pressed the yellow 87 button on the gas pump. Okay, I could be a little off there, maybe, but what do all those numbers mean anyway? Well, listen up, because in two or three minutes, you'll know all about it. The numbers on the pump represent the octane rating of the gas. Thanks for watching this episode of Quick Science. If you enjoyed, make sure to- I'm just kidding. What the hell's an octane rating, you're wondering? Well, a higher octane rating tells you that the gas can compress more before it combusts. If the octane rating is lower, then the fuel cannot compress as much before it combusts. Lower octane fuels have a higher chance of combusting before the spark plug fires. This is referred to as engine nagging. The octane rating is calculated in a super secret corporate laboratory run by ExxonMobil and Shell in a classified joint venture. They classify the fuels using the research octane number, or RON, which is a number that is displayed on the pump. They find this number by running the fuels on a test engine in a controlled environment and then comparing the findings to previous results. If that sounds familiar, it's because it's the same scientific method you learned in middle school. This all means that premium gas, with a higher octane rating, is less likely to cause engine knocking than regular gas. Furthermore, in cars with a higher compression ratio... Oh, what's a compression ratio? Uh, whatever. The compression ratio of an engine is the ratio between the volume of the cylinder at the bottom of the stroke and the volume of the cylinder at the top of its stroke. Based on the data I could find, most passenger cars have compression ratios somewhere in the realm of 8 to 1. This means that the cylinder compresses to 1 8th of its volume compared to its peak. However, higher performance cars and motorcycles typically have higher compression ratios, such as 12 to 1 or 14 to 1. This is more compression, which means to ensure a smooth running engine, you should use a higher octane fuel. And this brings us to E85. E85 is 85% ethanol fuel and 15% gasoline. It has an octane rating somewhere around 108, which means it can compress much more than regular gasoline. This is one reason that E85 is used for high performance engines. More engine knocking would not be a good thing, as it would accelerate engine wear and reduce efficiency. Alright, that was Octane Rating in less than two minutes. If you enjoyed this episode of Quick Science, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more cringy car content. Fuck you.